hi guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are doing fantastic today we are going to talk about how italian people smell uh, as you may know or maybe you do not know i attended exans this year and it was my big big dream come true so i'm very grateful for this opportunity to take part in it and of course we've been to milan and also we went to venetia and verona so i have like this extensive trip, a quite extensive trip, uh, so to speak, done uh, in Italy. So we visited like four cities in general, also it was the city of Como. So I also, I always like to bring uh, this fragrance souvenir with me. I also like to smell people, however that sounds, when I'm on a trip abroad especially, because then you have, you can experience all kinds of different smells. From, that, uh, from those that you have every day and that's very interesting to me that's very that's thing that's the thing I'm very curious about so here I will have the fragrances I you know felt when I smelled when I was on exams and uh, out in the streets um, in when in Italy so if you are interested please stay with me my name is Justina this is my perfume world if you like it here please consider subscribing to this channel leave a like leave a comment and let's go so as I said, Exans was my dream come true and actually I skipped uh, posting a video on Monday, so very sorry about that, but uh, we've been traveling as well after Exans and uh, we came home like only on Saturday uh, last week and it was very tiring to unpack everything and you know I realized that I don't have any video prepared for Monday, so... Yeah, I decided to skip it. It's not like me, but, uh, you know, I didn't really have the energy to film and produce something. So now I'm sitting and recording. Uh, I don't know if Exxon's vlog will be here. For sure, it will be uh, on my Polish channel. We'll see how that goes. Uh, however, for now, I have my insight um, into Italian uh, fragrances that I was uh, that I smelled in general on my trip. So first thing uh, that was that stood out to me, especially in Milan, was that uh, when I was going through the streets, uh, I uh, the clean smell was wafting towards me. I don't know whether it's from the house or the clean floors or clean laundry. I have smelled this clean laundry-like scent, which I really love. So that was very very big plus for me. And I'm wondering if it's a norm when it comes to the Italy, because I also felt this smell in Verona when we stayed overnight there. So let me know uh, in case you live in Italy or you are traveling a lot, if it's a norm to smell like those laundry-like scents, which I really, really like. It was a smell of polished floor as well, like clean uh, and, you know, aired out house. So I really like that one. And what I felt in terms of perfumes, because now we'll be talking about perfumes. So the scent profile that I could sniff around me was prominently rose, rose and oud, and uh, like this rose and gourmand combos. And actually what I have in here, it's a dupe of Italian brand, and it's LPDO Superb Cafe. So I'm talking about this profile of Montal Intense Cafe, of course, uh, Zara Rose Gourmand, which is a dupe for this fragrance, or Mancera Rose's Vanille. This one, LPDO Super Cafe, is a dupe for uh, Montal Intense Cafe, and that's what I could smell all around me, especially when we went to Verona. I have sniffed some ladies that smelled almost like, you know, this Rose Gourmand Intense Cafe from Montal, and it was really nice experience to be standing next to them, so I need to wear it more often, definitely. Very good uh, fragrance, very nice. Uh, you know you know it already. You know uh, this scent profile already. Uh, it is this gourmandy rose, like jammy rose. Very sweet, combined with vanilla. I do not get any coffee in that. Mm, I mostly get this jammy sweet rose combined with vanilla, as I said. And also uh, this scent profile that, you know, was familiar to me. Uh, it was Velvet Rose and Oud. That's uh, that's the smell I got as well. Uh, this rose is oriental, this rose is quite heavy, but beautiful at the same time. So that's uh, what I got when we, went, when we were in Italy. And also I have here the scent, uh, which is new to my collection. Actually, we are selling it in our perfume store in Poland. This one is from the niche brand Cadell. Cadell is from Paris. 
and this one is Rose Fatale and it has also ro rose, saffron, it has patchouli, it has papyrus, it has musk, cashmere and so this one is beautiful, bold, energetic rose, uh, very mysterious but also quite romantic, very beautiful, like femme fatale but with romantic soul, that's what this perfume is and uh, in Cadell perfumes you have this precious, st precious stone inserted into the bottle so when you uh, will use up the perfume, you can take out the stone. Actually, here we have like rose quartz or something. I don't quite remember now. Uh, but you can take it out and use it to make some kind of a jewelry. So I think combination of jewels, jewelry, jewelry and uh, perfume is absolutely amazing. So yeah, uh, Cadell Rose Fatale or any other rose perfume I showed you. And also the scent profile I got uh, in Italy was like this soft flowery musky profile uh, those soft and beautiful fragrances that were wafting around me and here from Cadell um, I was wearing in Milan Brume de Mai uh, this one this one is just beautiful it has peony it has rose it has um, this juicy pear accord as well it has musk uh, in the base and also woods so this one is transparent dewy as well uh, if you like scents like fleur narcotique for example from ex nihilo i think you may going to like it it's not the same by but by any means but it gives you this effect, like very clean, flowery, transparent at the same time. So yeah, I was wearing Brim de Mai in Milan, in Italy in general, and I really, really love it. Beautifuls are just amazing. So yeah, Cadell. And another one, um, which I could smell prominently around me, uh, was uh, the time when we had a waiter in Venice. Uh, he was serving like dinner to us and I uh, smelled, you know, this perfume wafting towards me and it is a cheapie and I was nicely surprised uh, how good it smells on this waiter. In general, this smells, this, uh, this fragrance smells really, really good as for the price. This is Italian brand, dirt cheap, and I'm talking about Tesori d'Oriente Byzantium. So this one is for all gourmand lovers, especially if you like powdery almonds, you need to get it. This one does not smell cheap, this does not smell artificial, at least for me, because there are various opinions regarding this. But for me, this one is just amazing. So I don't know whether he washed um, his body with body wash that smells like Byzantium, because of course, the Zori Orienta carries um, body wash in its line. Uh, and it has this smell actually, Byzantium, or maybe he used this body spray, I don't know, but he smelled just amazing. I also like to use it uh, during the summer, especially after the shower. It gives you this cozy but very, very clean and powdery effect. So Byzantium, I really, really recommend because this one you cannot go wrong with the price and, you know, with the overall feeling is quite long lasting. So yeah, Byzantium from Tesori d'Oriente, that's what I smelled in Venice and I was really nicely surprised. Uh, also, uh, the scent profile that was continuously appearing on the streets of Italy is Herba Pura um, from Zerzhov or Tiziana Terenzi Kirka. So I do not exactly know whether those people were wearing like originals or maybe dupe or maybe any other fragrances that smell similar to Herba Pura or Kirke because as we know, those scents are really popular and are heavily duped as well. Uh, and also are not only duped like by dupe companies, but also are duped by many niche houses. So this scent profile is really, really popular, but I could st still sniff it, smell it prominently on the streets of um, Milan or any other Italian city. So that was quite popular. Also, another perfume I uh, smelled was MFK uh, Baccar Rouge, obviously. When we went to Venice, we went to uh, this uh, posh gallery uh, with elegant luxury shops uh, from Deco de Tedeschi and upstairs they have the per perfume shop. So of course I needed to go and sniff uh, some of the fragrances. And uh, there is a MFK, Maison Francis Cordijan stand in there. And of course, each bottle of Baccar Rouge was completely empty, dried up to the max and everything around smelled like Baccar Rouge. So apparently this is still very, very popular fragrance to this day. 
even in Italy. So yeah, Baccar Rouge, that's what I smelled in there. And another uh, like scent family that I uh, could sniff, especially on Exxon's when we went, when we entered, um, it was leather and it was leather in its various forms. So I will show you also uh, the fragrances with leather that I really like, but I also could sense this very harsh and gasoline like leather, which I do not quite like. However, I must tell you that I sniffed Core Eterno Hardcore again, and I must tell you I'm more and more convinced. So we'll see how that goes because as we know, our sense of smell changes and we start to accept new and another things when it comes to fragrances we start to dislike some notes that we liked before and we start to like the notes we didn't like before so we'll see how that goes but I could sniff this prominent core eterno leather in the air so leather was quite a trend especially maybe not in the new releases or fragrances but on people who were wearing the fragrances and uh, also uh, what I really like and uh, what I got to know is the new release from uh, Olfactive Studio actually it's not that 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 new because Olfactive Studio has prepared three amazing fra fragrances created by Cecile Zarokian, so I'm really looking forward to them for them to be released because they are three, all are really, really good. But for the time being, I got to know Smoky Soul. And I must tell you that this one, if you like your smoky fragrances, but you do not like them to be too strong, too heavy, too overbearing, you need to check this out. Uh, this one has tea, this one has bergamot and some flowers. It is blended really, really nicely. It is quite original, I must say. So it make it may take you some time to get acquainted with this fragrance, get used to it. But when you get used to it, you cannot stop sniffing it. This one is strangely addictive and it has leather as well. So if you like this very light leather, very nice to your nose, you may want to check out Smoky Soul from Olfactive Studio because this one is really, really nice. It's the latest release uh, of this house. I don't know, they have released it like, I don't know, four months ago or five months ago, something like that. And I got the chance to meet the owner also of Olfactive Studio and she's just the sweetest, the uh, sweetest person I have ever met. So yeah, she's so nice, so kind. So yeah, we had really nice chat, very, very long chat. And me and my husband get, got the chance to get some rest after the whole day of walking, you know, talking with the brands. She made us feel at home. She had very cozy couch. So yeah, that was a nice experience along with this uh, fragrance, Smoky Soul, and three new fragrances that will be released soon, I hope. So I will be able to tell you more about them. And another, um, like this combo that I could sniff, uh, was rose and leather combination. And especially there is one fragrance that comes to mind when I'm talking about this combo. Uh, this one is from the brand Saltworks and it's Oud Bazaar. So this one has the combination of rose and leather. This leather is not as pungent as in Gucci Guilty Absolute, for example, or Core Eterno Hardcore. It is not that hard and that harsh, but you can still feel the leather in it. So yeah, this rose and leather combination was really it. Um, at uh, at the fair, I have this impression. Another fragrance that I really do love, and it has leather, so I'm showing you now those, uh, you know, more digestive leather options, along with Smoky Soul from Olf Olfactive Studio, but another one which really surprised me nicely, uh, because I didn't think I would like this fragrance, is from the brand I really love, and I got to meet um, the you know, the team uh, on Exans, and I really liked them. It was a really nice conversation, although it's very short. It was very short because they were very busy, but we still managed to exchange a couple of words. And uh, this one is Carner Barcelona. And I have here Revolution. So when I got back from the fair, uh, it was waiting for me. And I really do not regret, uh, you know, picking this up because... This one is just beautiful. You know what um, was worrying me was this oxygen accord and leather accord and violet, violet leaf. Not always it is working for me, so I was a little hesitant whether I will be liking it or not, but I really love it. I absolutely love it. This one is strangely fresh. This one is airy 
it has this beautiful clean quality to it so basically this is a clean skin uh, clean uh, leather sorry not skin clean leather and it fits perfectly to this clean scent aesthetics surprisingly because i could never tell that this leather fragrance would be uh, you know fitting to this clean girl aesthetics but it does it is just beautiful. It is addictive, strangely addictive, and it's very, very long lasting. So if you are like me and you do not like uh, leather fragrances, like straight up, very harsh leather fragrances, try Revolution from Carne Barcelona because it is just amazing. And the scent profile I could also sniff in the air uh, during exons. It's something like Silky Woods from uh, Goldfield and Banks. Of course, I do not know if it was exactly this composition or something else, but this also has leather. But this leather here is very, very sweet, combined with vanilla, combined with saffron. So this leather is much, much more dense and deep than the one that we have in Revolution from Carner. But this one is still very pleasant like suede very strong suede feeling this one is addictive as well very addictive i absolutely love this perfume oh yeah so yeah silky woods from goldfield and banks this is a normal edition uh it's not elixir this is normal one all right and another one i uh sniffed somewhere on the streets uh was ysl libre i have here a ysl libre l'absolu platine so this one is the newest flanker to the line and i must tell you this one i think is my favorite one because it has this beautiful aldehydic bubbly quality to it for me normal libre all or libre intense are too flat when they dry down i really love to sniff them on other people, but on me, it turns out to be too flat. So I don't know what is the reason. It doesn't work for me as I wish it would, but this one is everything I wanted Libra to be on my skin. So basically it has this lavender, classic to Libra. It has vanilla, it has those aldehydes, but everything is very sweet, very bubbly at the same time, very fresh. Like you would throw um, those Lib th this Libra bottle to, uh, you know, washing machine and you would wash it with very cold water, with soap, with bubbles. That's the effect I get from it. From it. it is sparkly. It is fresh. It is uh, sweet at the same time. I really, really do like it. And I really like to, you know, sniff it on someone or wear it myself. So that was it. Another one um, is like an anecdote for me because uh, I smelled briefly La Via Belle and I was thinking, hmm, maybe those are Polish people who are wearing La Via Belle. And of course, I do not mean to offend anyone. I do like La Via Belle uh, sometimes from time to time. But this scent profile, this scent exactly is so much used in Poland here where I live that is too much it's too much and i was when i was smelling la via belle i was thinking hmm maybe those polish people are wearing la via belle but i didn't know and that i knew when you know they started to speak i heard my own language and those were people from poland wearing la via belle so yeah it's still very very popular up to all these years as i said I like it, but I do not wear it because it is too, too popular. But I did feel this sniff, La Vie Belle. Another one, which I bought um, on our Trieste trip, because we went to Trieste as well. Uh, this one surprised me very much because the price point is very, very affordable and the scent is just amazing. Just Cavalli from Roberto Cavalli. Of course, we were passing by the drugstore and I needed to come in, you know, because I love everything cosmetics, smells, of course, you know. So I needed to go in there and, uh, you know, just browse through their like perfume rack. And I found this on a discount and I bought it immediately because I really do love the scent. This one is created by Natalie Lorson. So if you like Natalie Lorson, just check it out because it's just, just good. This one has frangipani, this has tuberose, this has woods. Very, very beautiful, very simple pyramid, when it, olfactive pyramid. So it is nothing complex, nothing too challenging. And this uh, is the scent profile I could uh, smell all around me in Italy as well. Uh, like clean, flowery, very pleasant, but not boring. That's, uh, that's the summary of this fragrance. If you like your tropical fragrances, white flower fragrances, I think this one is just, just perfect. 
amazing for everyday wear but also for more formal occasions special occasion and very very cheap so yeah and it lasts really long time even though it's eau de toilette so yeah just cavalli from roberto cavalli and two last fragrances uh, i was uh, able to uh, smell the scent I own uh, in my collection and the scent I always associated with Italy, right? Because it's from Italian brand. It's Lorenzo Villoresi and it's Tom de Neige. So this one is for um, avid fans of, uh, you know, powdery fragrances. Very prominent, heavy, powdery fragrances. This one is just powder in a bottle. As I know, uh, Italians love the, their you know, powdery, talky fragrances. And that's what we get in here. I absolutely love it. And I like it even more after smelling it in Italy. It won't be for, for everyone. It is like your old school powder. So yeah, definitely you need to like your fragrances to be strong and very, very prominent. If you like this effect, you are going to love Tom de Niche. Uh, I sniffed it like quite a couple of times in Italy actually so I don't know maybe it was like talc on the body or something maybe not necessarily this perfume but I smelled this fragrance so that's what I'm showing you so so good I really really like uh, those type of fragrances I really like powdery fragrances so it's not a problem for me Lorenzo Villoresi Tom de Neige and the last one is of course from another Italian brand I took it uh, with me on my trip to Como uh, city city of Como and this one is beautiful absolutely beautiful Dolce Aqua from Mask Milano so this one is basically your classic flowery scent infused with like this ocean breeze so so beautiful so good it is like the wafts of beautiful flowery air uh, if you like fragrances like Chanel number no. five or Chanel Gabrielle this one will be for you of course it's not a dupe or anything but it gives you this very posh and elegant and luxurious effect. Those are like powdery flowers, very beautiful, sophisticated and rich. So if you like this kind of fragrances, just don't hesitate, try Dolce Aqua. And actually it's 30 ml I have in here, but it's very prominent and it lasts really, really long time. Actually, when I wash my hair, I still can feel the scent lingering. Uh, so it's very, very strong. And this one you will get on Raffinade. It's like Czech um, perfumery. You have a 10% discount code uh, for this one in the description. And also you have this, uh, this uh, discount valid for Goldfield and Banks because Raffinade does carry those two fragrances so if you want to use it up or to buy any other fragrance just feel free to do so all right so that was it for today and that was it for my italian trip i really as i said like to bring you those uh fragrance souvenirs because smells can bring out memories like no other thing uh, so let me know what are your italian um fragrant experiences if you had any thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next videos Bye bye <laughs>